Long before Grant Saps goes full on crazy and blames Harold Wilson for the strikes. Uh, if you're going to blame a Labour Party that hasn't governed in years, you may as well go all the way up the nonsense lane. And um, speaking of the nonsense lane, we turn to the Daily Mail where it says, Public won't forgive you, Starmer told over strikes. Grant Shapps last night urged Keir Starmer to finally condemn the rail strikes that will cause chaos for millions of travellers tomorrow. Uh, and that, do you know, they even have, straight out of kindergarten, they have a Keir Starmer strikometer. The Daily Mail's given up pretending that its readers are uh, um, deserving of respect. Uh, and, and now they treat them like kindergarten pupils. So they have a special little graphic with a little U European Union-style flag behind it that says, Return of the Remainers. They've sort of decided, why bother with actual journalism when we can just use pictograms, uh, like, like sort of pub signs, or we can use slogans like Boris Johnson's government. And why wouldn't we? Because we are essentially here just to cheerlead for Boris Johnson's government, whatever it does. So you've got one that says return of the Remainers, which is kind of like the media equivalent of this hilarious think tank releasing a report next week saying, this Brexit that we told you was brilliant is going really, really badly, and it's all the fault of the people that explained why it was going to go really, really badly. And then the sort of media wing of that army of insanity has your return of the Remainers little graphic and now this one which I hadn't noticed before the Keir Starmer strikometer which counts all the days that have passed since Keir Starmer refused to condemn the democratic mandate that the rail workers union has achieved so Keir Starmer the Daily Mail is insisting should condemn the democratically mandated industrial action of Aslef but he's also a grave enemy of, of democracy because he was one of those idiots that predicted Brexit was going to go as badly as it is now currently going. So I think it's fair to say they bless them, bless their little cashmere socks. They've given up even the pretense of trying to provide their readers with, with facts or honest reporting uh, and even publishing this headline. 12 years of Tory, Tory rule, biggest... Uh, industrial action in a generation happening tomorrow under a government with an 80 seat majority grant shaps can rely upon the editor of the daily mail to print the following headline public won't forgive you starmer told over strikes it's uh it's amazing it's a bit like it's a bit like a headline saying public won't forgive you alex ferguson told over kidderminster harrier's results it, 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 not entirely like that i grant you but it's a heck of a lot more similar to it than uh what passes for reality in the pages of that newspaper.